Hey folks, Technivers here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimaker Kira's new beta that is going to be 5.5, and there is a lot to cover. So I'm actually going to break this video down into two shorter videos, and basically we're just going to run through the what's new section, check out a couple of the bug fixes, and in the next video we'll get to it and actually play with some of these new settings. Now like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here, so before we get into it, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and click that little notification bell and make sure you get a good first layer squish and that being said let's check it out so a lot of the stuff they do tends to be for ultimaker printers you know i mean if it was my software and i made printers i would definitely focus on my printers as well but the beautiful thing about kira is they do do updates for other printers as well and they do a lot of stuff that runs on pretty much anything you can run so um, the biggest thing here is the powerful new engine plugins. They talk about this in the intro. They introduced the option to download these from the marketplace and they interact with the slicing engine. Plugin developers can now add new settings or modifying existing options. There is a whole bunch of info about this on the Kira page. And I'm actually going to bring it over here so we can take a look. Um, so when it talks about the plugin mods here, let me find it. I know I'm horribly under underprepared. Uh, that's the Ultimaker stuff. So um, anyway, yeah, okay, modify generated code, post-processing it per layer, can generate infill patterns, it can modify extrusion paths, and listen to the broadcast of all settings. So um, these are the new settings in Kira 5.5, and they are gradual flow enabled, gradual flow max acceleration, Initial layer max flow acceleration, gradual flow discretion step size, and they're to fine, fine tune the gradual flow plugin. So there's a lot of other settings, top surface outer wall flow. A lot of these are adjusting walls, outer walls, inner walls, due to the jerk and the acceleration. So you get a more perfect print and small top bottom width jerky motions. Um, lots and lots of stuff in here. So I can't wait to play around with that. Let's see what the next tab has for us. Ah, okay, so they did a lot of quality of life improvements here, and you can see a list of these on the website as well, and those are pretty easy to find. They're all pretty much right here. Um, it allows you to tab to navigate between settings, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read these all out. You guys feel free to pop over. This is on the download page, so if you open up the version of Kira you have, you go to extensions, and then click update checker and check updates, it'll bring you to that page, and you can download this beta version for yourself. So... Um, tab here says duplicate and organize models on your build plate more easily. It's now possible to use control C and control V standard copy paste template, but they now have a shortcut for it. That's one of those quality of life improvements they talk about. And this is also now mostly just for Ultimaker printers and their, their profiles. It's the difference between engineering, visual and draft versions. It starts off a little bit more balanced. So the basic settings that it starts you off with are going to be for uh, in between quality and speed. And that's basically it guys. Um, these engine plugins, I'm really curious to see what happens here because the plugin and mod community for Kira is pretty amazing. So I'm pretty sure we'll see some pretty cool stuff coming out of here. And then again, all of these settings, they did a couple of updates on supporting uh, operating systems. So they introduced Mac builds um, and then the single Linux build, uh, removing the need to have different, different settings and then uh yeah all the quality life improvements are also listed right here you little multiple files again even if they're mixed stl and project files that's pretty cool we're gonna make some videos on these and check around and, and pick through there and see see what's really interesting and what we want to dive into um so, oh yeah other features so this right here where'd it go there i missed there we go so this is kind of a big deal you can sponsor the kira team from the application switcher and the help menu so you can actually go in there now, and I think they have a little tab explaining this as well. Yeah, so it's gonna be this button up here. So we'll close that. If I hit this, and you can go in and you can donate some money to Kira because the, you know the software is free, and they do a pretty amazing job of putting out updates with with cool little quality of life improvements all the time. Sometimes it's just a bug fix. Sometimes it's more than that. Um, on that note, there is the report a bug button. A lot more obvious here now too. And then they have a support button. So this is where you're going to find the website and the marketplace where they'll have those new plugins for the engine too. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to play around with a bunch of these settings, and I'm really looking forward to it. So we'll see you in the next one.